Super pumped day today. Uh, Stan the man, I met him in Montana. This guy is amazing when it comes to astrophotography. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test out the new iPhone 11 Pro and we're gonna put it up against the A7R 3 yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome, dude. It is. I mean, I've tried to shoot Astro with uh, the Androids like years ago and they were decent, you know, a lot of noise, but right. this new iPhone, I've seen photos and they look pretty rad. So. By the way, check out Stan's work right now. Like, look at this, this looks amazing. So if you guys wanna learn more about him, check out his YouTube, check out his Instagram. He is the man. We're going to Joshua Tree. Thanks, man. Let's go. So, uh, hey, Armando. What's up, dude? So, we bought the chicken nuggets or what? What'd you say, bro? It's all about the chicken, right? It's all about the chicken. <laughs> What's the most chicken nuggets you guys offer? Was it 30? Yes. I'll take one of those. Go Thank you. Uh -huh. This episode's brought to you by Chick fil A. Chick fil A, get your nugs. And <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Cool. 30 nugs? 30 nugs. Or oh, 40. <laughs> yeah. Show us the goods. <laughs> We're going to open this up. Oh, da -da -da -da. Focus on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, Stan, get yourself a nug, my friend. I gotta have one of these nugs. Yeah. These are good. <laughs> I'll just go. All right, so that was really good. We have about an hour and 15 minutes left. What apps do you use, man, for your uh, star trails and all the other stuff? Maybe so, you can explain some of that. Why don't we check out the weather first? And it's actually really cloudy, but I'm not worried because I trust this app a lot. It's called Weatherbug. What does it do? It just basically, it, it, you know, shows you a, a forecast of the weather for like the next seven, eight days. So yeah, Saturday, it, yep. it's going to be windy like I was telling you earlier, but we're going to get really clear skies. Anyway, yeah, I think it's good. I think we're going to score tonight, man. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, we're good. It's uh, Mondo's first time in J-Tree. I cannot believe you, man. I know, I've lived it here in California for such a long time and I've never been here. It's ridiculous. It's gonna be perfect. We're going to change that today. Yes. We're going to make this an uh, ongoing it. thing. Actually, hold on, no, freeze, bro. Here, 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 here. Wait, I'm gonna see how big this thing is. Uh, oh, that's just huge. What are you saying? <laughs> I'd rather look good than like. <laughs> look at that. That doesn't look too bad. It's not that no, bad. Yeah. no, you just gotta, you just gotta. Um, yeah, button yeah. the. You want me to help you, bro? Yeah, oh do it. <laughs> what are you, his dad? <laughs> I am. Uncle Mondo, can you please help me with this? So where are we right here? This is a part of Joshua Tree. Yes. You, what's this particular location so, called? This is actually uh, the road to Keys View. Okay. There's a vista point up that way. Okay, That's so the highest elevation of the park is that way. Uh, you got it? <laughs> and then this way, this joke is this way. Now, th the reason why I brought you guys here is this uh, tree right here. What's up? Well, you don't want to eat it. There's a tree right out right. here, right. Um, super pretty. It's one of my favorites. And the Milky Way is actually going to be vertic vertical right after sunset. The core of the Milky Way is going to come out of the tree. And that's where we're going to be doing the testing with the iPhone Pro 11. 11 right? Pro. Oh, 11, 11 Pro. Pro. And we're going to put that up against the A7R 3 So it's going to be a pretty cool test. So we've already left that other place because it was way too windy. So now I am following these gents to this I tree don't right here. Anymore. Yeah, he, it's a little less windy. It's pro it's still it's still the shirt windy. actually fits me. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just using uh photo pills. Photo pills. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of people use this app. Look at that. A lot of people use this app to basically uh, predict the future um, of like where where the Milky Way is at. It's called Night AR. Uh, augmented reality so Whoa. it's obviously that you know it's it's the sun's dropping but we can move um, the milk we can move it there it is it's actually right that is amazing. right around here so if we want it vertical coming out of, out, out of this tree I need to take a bunch of steps to my right so excuse me sir and we'll be right a little bit more a little bit more back <laughs> right there dude right around here this is pretty sick. <laughs> okay, what are, what are we gonna do now?
Okay guys, so sorry that we got sidetracked back on track. So now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna use the A7R 3 we're gonna mount the iPhone on top of yeah. the hot shoe, that way we can get this, a similar field of view and compare apples to apples, no pun intended, right? Exactly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on the R3. I do have a 24G Master. I don't have too many lenses wider than that. Um, so Mondo's trying to get the uh, adapter for the phone on top of the cold shoe right now. Uh, we have a tree picked out. The Milky Way is already out. Whew. This is uh, my first time actually using this. I'm gonna set my, uh, my settings on the R3 first, and then I'm gonna take a test shot with the R3. That way I know what I'm you know, shooting at and my focus on the Milky Way. Then we'll get to the iPhone. It's processing. All right, get Let's it, get see. it, get it. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, for a phone, dude, this is so good. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Really windy outside, so we just want to give you guys a quick recap. Really we shot a couple frames, and uh, what did you think so far on the iPhone 11 Pro? I, I like it. I mean, like I said earlier, I mentioned I was shooting on Androids back in the day, and the difference is huge, man. I mean, for somebody just, just getting into the field and you got a camera in your pocket, to take a you know rad photo of the night sky like that, it's so crazy, super impressive. So yeah. Stan was going over some of the menu settings on the iPhone. So there's different types of almost like LUTs or presets, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we kind of found um, it's just color balance, but we we're playing through a few. Right. With their, there was dramatic, there was vivid, but we actually went right back to the original. original. Yeah. So just you know, from us to you guys out there, I I, I found the original to. Be more uh, re it replicated the night sky. I, I think you know, right. The Al best. Also, yeah. keep in mind too because this is a new phone. A mm -hmm. lot of the applications like Lightroom, Moment, and other photography apps are not really taking full advantage of the APIs that yeah. Apple has implemented. So as of right now, we are only filming or shooting uh, photography with the default stock app. So keep yeah. something in mind. We're not really shooting in RAW. Because no. with Lightroom, you are able to have that raw capability, which I think is very crucial in doing astrophotography, mainly because of the flexibility. I mean, all the stuff that you do is obviously in raw. Yeah, yeah. So I think that just keep that in mind that everything is just like a JPEG image right now. And I think it looks pretty damn it's good. Not, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, dy dynamic range is all in the raw, right? Right, right. And and if you could do, if you could use, you know, the Lightroom Mobile, you can only go up to five seconds. We already tried it. Right. That's that's not enough for the iPhone because it's it's tiny sensors, right? And we're putting it up against the Sony R3, and obviously the Sony will win. But you know, in in the industry of phones, I mean, gosh, man, that's amazing, dude. It's just moving so quick. Imagine like five years from now. It's gonna be insane. Yeah. We are going to a new spot. We're gonna show yep. you some more stuff. But uh, yeah, we just wanted to give you this quick update, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. <laughs> I was like, I, I knew when I heard you, I was like, dude, I this guy. I couldn't, I couldn't help it. Dude. I was like, all right, we got the uh, iPhone photos in LR, Lightroom, and we're gonna check them out. But what I'm doing right now is just a little edit. Let's see what we got here. Oh, see, there is. Who is that profile? So, um, this might be kind of helpful for the iPhone. Is in LR in Lightroom, we got the profiles up here. There's an Adobe color. But if you go to browse, we can, we can kind of. Ooh! This might actually be kind of cool. Ah, oh, I like that one. Artistic. Yeah, so screw another. Look, look at that. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so obviously, we're gonna bring up the A7R3 files. They're gonna be better, that's no doubt. But I mean, to have say you're a person with no camera and you're just you like to there's a lot of people that camp and hike that don't own cameras in fact there's a ton like a lot of hikers on the John Muir and all that they, they're not camera guys they only have their phone you know so now and they, they some of these guys see the best Milky Ways ever you know what I mean right. but just to have like a phone that you can actually capture the night sky it's not gonna be you know truly epic you know, like a, like a a full frame mirrorless, but now you you have the ability to do that, which is really cool. All right, sweet. So we pulled a few of our favorites. 
we had that color set, that blue tone, and I had my um, my R3 set to incandescent. But I, just for sake of matching up, I'm gonna make the, the photo on the right, which is the R3, a little bit more cooler. So it's that obviously you can tell the difference. But here, pixel peeping. There you go. Left is the iPhone, and to the right is the R3. All right, so we got our last pair of photos. We got Mr. Connor cruising up here. Last photo of the night. So to the right, of course, is the R3. To the left is the iPhone. And I tried my hardest um, to pull any information uh, and detail out of the rock. I just can't because if, if I did, it would just turn into complete trash so as you can see um, on this on the right side there's a lot more detail in the rocks you know I think it goes back to what I was saying earlier about raw we're not getting that raw capability yep. so a lot of the, that information is going to be lost and same thing even with um, the Milky Way mm -hmm. you see it a lot more on the art because it is raw and you're able to manipulate that in Lightroom totally you're able to like push and pull the image to extract that and but and, still I think the iPhone still looks yeah really and of good. course and of course it's a bigger sensor so you're gonna right. get more light you know it's gonna obtain but yeah like the takeaway is that you can still do this on the phone so like with the night mode and with proper lighting you could even light this whole you know all like the rocks up if you took some time so it just kind of goes to show you that this phone is really cool to take it to the next level that people gave up on their phone at night Right. You know what I mean? But now you can have fun if you do it properly. Okay, so we made it back home. It's pretty late, but I think for right now, the images that we saw, I think it's pretty impressive where smartphone technology has come. I mean, computational photography is pretty amazing. I, I mean, we talked about yeah, this. Yeah, I would agree. In That's the true. next probably three to five years, it's just gonna get better. But uh, we will be doing more testing on the iPhone 11 Pro coming later this week. So make sure you are subscribed so you guys don't miss out on that. And also check out Stan's channel. He has some awesome content. Thanks, Push <laughs> him. He just, by the way guys, we were talking for hours here and just, it's amazing. The knowledge that he has, truly amazing. Dude, you gotta uh -huh. make videos, bro. Uh, Connor's back there, he's pretty tired, but uh, oh, yeah. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and in it, I know we're all pretty tired, but in any case, thanks for watching, guys. You will catch us in the next one. Adios.